Now, as Russia invades Ukraine, many Americans are looking to send Russia a strong message. Money editor John Delano has a closer look at how trade and investment plays a role in that. First, it was Russian vodka. At the request of Governor Wolf and state lawmakers, wine and spirit shops will no longer stock Russian-made alcohol. But it's mostly symbolic. Most vodka is made in the USA, and less than 1% comes from Russia. So how important is American trade with Russia? What's extremely important is to create independence from Russia. Trade is not a bad thing. The good news is that the United States is not especially dependent on Russia for consumer necessities. In 2021, we imported just under $30 billion in goods from Russia, compared to $506 billion from China. As for the impact of us boycotting Russian products. Since the Russian-U.S. trade is not very developed, it's not very significant, that's much less of an, a statement to make in exactly that field. However, joining the forces with Europeans, that is what actually is so successful right now. And, um, and Europeans can make a huge statement on trade. Pitt professor Gregor Thum, an expert on Central Europe, says helping Europe end its dependence on Russian energy is critical. On the home front, state treasurer Stacey Garrity has ordered her office to disinvest or sell off nearly $3 million in state taxpayer investments in Russia. Every dollar matters, and I think it's very important that we protect Pennsylvania taxpayers and that we stand with Ukraine. Garrity says that besides boycotting what few Russian products are on the shelves, people should look at their retirement accounts, their IRAs and 401ks to make sure those funds are not investing in Russian companies. I think it's important that everybody make sure that their money is invested prudently. And not in Russia. Exactly. Not in Russia. Again, chances are pretty good. You're not investing much in Russia or buying much from that country. Besides boycotting Russia, another way to show support for Ukraine is to buy products made by Ukrainians. Compared to the 30 billion in products we bought from Russia, last year we bought only 2 billion from Ukraine. John Delano, KDKA News.